Chairman, I do have a very brief presentation on these two draft ordinances. Um, so these ordinances emanated from discussions that the Board of Adjustment had over their 2018 year when they processed a record number of variance applications. Variance applications deal with variances to the zoning limitations, things like setbacks or height or those types of um, issues. And in 2018, they had 11 cases, more than they've had in any year that they've been in existence. And after that year, they thought a little bit about um, what municipal code changes can we implement that would reduce the number of variances mostly related to setbacks that come before that board. Um, some of the setback variances were for items as little as a few inches because of a gutter on an overhang. Because the, currently, the way the definition for a setback is written, it has to be a full, clear, and unobstructed area of space from the ground up to the sky uh, of unencumbered area. So the Board of Adjustment considered what could be done to change the municipal code regarding the regulations for setbacks, particularly side setbacks. That was where they were getting a lot of variances. A typical side setback in the city of Woodland Park is eight feet. And um, what the Board of Adjustment, after much discussion, came up with was an encroachment allowance of an overhang in only the urban residential zone and only those lots that are 60 feet, did I say 60 feet? Yeah, I think it is 60 feet. <laughs> um, 60 feet wide or less. So in very limited instances, only in the urban residential zone and only for those lots that are 60 feet wide or less can an overhang encroach into a setback by up to two feet. That was the proposal that is before you tonight in ordinance number 1355. Um, and then we also just tweaked the definition for setbacks, just clarifying that. So those are the two changes in 1355. In 1356, um, the Board of Adjustment also looked at other sections, specifically sections related to the Board of Adjustment. So they looked at um, Section 1860, which relates to variances and how the board processes variances and the standards for variances. And then they looked at this, uh, Chapter 1851, which deals with the Board of Adjustment and their composition and um, their operating procedures. Um, within those two sections, they came up with a few, very few minor miscellaneous changes throughout that simply clarify the regulations as written. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, that concludes my report on these two ordinances. We are hoping that they will um, go forward to Council for first reading uh, on November 7th and public hearing on November 21st, pending tonight's recommendation from the Planning Commission on these changes. Draft changes were included in the packet that was distributed with the language that will go forward. And then all the changes were included in the memo in a red line copy of uh, deletions and additions. I want to take a moment just to recognize the members of the Board of Adjustment that are here tonight, and I, I'll just ask you guys to stand if when I call your name. So we'll begin with Lois DeVoe, who is the Vice Chairperson of the Board of Adjustment, um, Catherine Nakai, who is our newest alternate member on the Board of Adjustment, and Larry Larson, who has been on the Board of Adjustment now for many years. We are fortunate to have these members not only on the Board of Adjustment, but here tonight. Um, they are available to answer any questions you might have about some of these changes and some of the discussions that they had at their board meetings. Um, and I'm also available to answer any questions. That concludes my report. Mr. Chairman. Just a quick sort of more administrative kind of question. There were a variety of small revisions we talked about uh, in the previous meeting. Is there a printout showing the final version we're looking at to see what, what changes were in and what were out from that discussion? The memo shows the red line changes. Of the changes after the discussion from the last yes. work session? Um, I didn't summarize them, but they are included in the draft that's before you. Okay, I, well, okay, I, I guess I must switch drafts. Maybe I can over the public and something else. Yeah, so the draft 
ordinances don't include red lines, if that's what you're looking for, Lee, but the red lines are in the memo. Okay. Okay. Uh, we don't have an applicant for presentation. Um, no, but any members of the board will come forward if you if you wish them to speak. <laughs> the next thing I would read would be that the staff can ask them questions. That's the next line. Okay. Uh, unless you folks want to, you're welcome to come to the microphone and talk if you'd like to. I don't see Larry. You want there? Larson 1320, Michael Lane, member of the Board of Adjustment. Uh, I've reviewed the ordinances, and with the tweaks that you made, uh, we, I can certainly support and ask you to approve the uh, changes in the ordinance and its sections. Certainly the one dealing with the, the setback requirements is very important. I think uh, we're seeing a lot more smaller houses being built, and there's a Real demand for that infill. Uh, thank you. There is a real demand for those lots for infill for those smaller houses, and we just saw that as well. How can we accommodate that? Most of the time, we had our hearings that we had no opposition at those times. So again, we recommend that you approve the ordinances as presented to you tonight. Thank you. Okay. And I would be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you. Other members of the, of the Board of Adjustment, you concur with what Mr. Larson said? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, does anybody here on the Board have questions for anybody? Okay. Um, do we have any public? Have we signed up for public comment? Pardon? So we'll open this for public comment. Thank you. Sorry. <coughs> Joseph Fury, you get to come up. Name, rank, and serial number, and your address. All right. Good evening, Joseph Fury, 565 Pembroke Drive, Woodland Park. Um, thank you for recognizing me. <laughs> um, I did not see this uh, uh, recommended update to Ordinance 1851 until just a short while ago. Um, I, I looked at it and, and I have no problem with what it contains. <clears throat> However, I think there are uh, a number of other changes that need to be made to the uh, code affecting the Board of Adjustment. So. How do we do that? How do we input uh, recommended changes to that? Mr. Fury, you're more than welcome to submit them right now in front of the Planning Commission, but more appropriately, put them in writing and send me an email, and I will make sure it gets in front of the Board of Adjustment for them to consider. And they are re uh, considering, reconsidering, not only the Municipal Code as it relates to the Board of Adjustment, but also their rules of procedure and their kind of doing a little bit of navel gazing in terms of the appeals that they've just processed and how they can improve their process so we would and we would love to hear from you in terms of how you think we can make the board of adjustment better okay i'll try and do that i have a question on that, or okay what's the process so if he comes in tomorrow or whatever and drop, drops those off to you what happens then i will get them in front of the board of adjustment at the next available meeting before this goes to council well, those would be related to future changes. He is okay with okay. these changes. All right. So that'd be another step. Yes. Which will then come back to us as well. Yes. Okay. So it's going to go to Board of Adjustment. It's another meeting you got to go to. And if it comes to us, then you got to come back here and we can see you again. Okay? <laughs> well, I just want to find out what the process so you right. understood. So, so would it eventually go to a public hearing? Those? Yes. Okay. Yes. Same procedure. Yeah. Right. If, if they are municipal code changes, okay. uh, rules of procedure would still get ratified by council and you would still have an opportunity. Okay. To speak. Thank you. Thanks. Anybody else that didn't sign up that would like to speak? Okay, we'll close the public comment. Uh, 
rebuttal from the applicant. Uh, this is my console. This is for console. There's, there's a, okay, anyway, it's to us. Questions you have for anybody? Questions among ourselves? We encourage a motion and a second. Do we have to do each and then separate, separately? We can do them together if you'd like. There's a draft motion that includes both of them together, and that would be fine. Who would like to do that? <laughs> Bottom of page three. I think uh, the motion is that the Planning Commission recommend that City Council approve and adopt Ordinance 1355 Series 2019 and Ordinance 1356 Series 2019. Yes, second. Do we have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We'll begin with Jeff Watson. Agreed. Lee Brown. Yes. Ellen Carrick. Yes. Vicki Good. Yes. Ken Hartsfield. Yes. Jerry Penland. Yes. Charles Schrader. Yes. And John DeVoe. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Okay, we move on to reports. Anybody got a report? You always have a report. If I could just start with a reminder that we will have a meeting on November 14th. We have a conditional use case uh, for Victory Life Church. And uh, you'll be receiving the packet uh, the Friday before. Um, pretty straightforward uh, request for a place of worship. And this would be located at 720 West Highway uh, 24, which is the old Brazen Head or UC Health offices right now, or clinic. And uh, Ken, uh, Ken Hartsfield is the architect associated with that, so he will be recusing himself and actually representing the applicant. So just to give you a heads up on that. Uh, we will also continue our work session that we'll get started on tonight. Uh, and then on your desk is our planning monthly report. Uh, we highlighted the new downtown parking signs, and uh, Ms. Carrick has been working with our sign committee and the Main Street committee. The city received a grant as a result of our placemaking efforts and felt that this was the first project that we could use these funds, $7,000 for. We will be replacing the existing signs that are uh, not uniform. They're all different types, directing folks off the highway to our parking places, and then also placing signs on the local streets to verify that they succeeded in finding their destination. So there will be 14 signs on the highway and 11 signs on the uh, local streets. So it's pretty exciting little project that we've embarked or partnered with the Main Street program. Will we remove the existing signs? Yes. So we won't have Absolutely. The whole goal is to have uniformity and placement that is um, encouraging folks to turn off the highway, park, get out, walk, and shop, and eat, and enjoy our beautiful environment. Okay. Is that it? That, that's it. Any other? I have a question for staff. Sorry. Uh, some time ago, we approved a car wash with a coffee shop. I see a coffee shop, but no car wash. Two questions. Um, were those two different approvals, and why is the coffee shop operating and the car wash is not? 
So they did go through approvals, um, and the applicant phased them. So the first phase of that approval was the coffee shop, which is why you see it up and operational. Second phase is in design right now and hopes to be in construction for the car wash in April-ish. Okay, so, so they were they they were two phases. Two phases. Yeah. That was the biggest part of my question. Thank you. Anybody else? The thing in the first phase that the city really likes is that road has been put through to the high end. Yeah. The smiles. Okay. <laughs> um, are we going to have a work session? think we should. Okay, very good. Uh, at that point then, we will adjourn. We will adjourn this and then we'll take a five minute break and then we'll meet down there. And the Board of Adjustments will join us. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good job. So I tell you to take